My name is Pauline Ateno Obara. Uh, we are here for the burial of my grandfather. Uh, the deceased name is Dixon Oten. And basically what I can say, we are not like here to mourn, but we are here to celebrate his life. He has lived for 100 years. And uh, since he was my grandfather, there are some things he was strict on. He really wanted us to do well at school. He really wanted us to do our best even in life, to pursue life with a purpose and to live a grateful life. Uh, actually, I remember there was a time he came and stayed in our home in Nairobi for almost like 10 years. And I remember every time we used to come out of school and we just switch on the TV, we want to watch cartoons. You say, no, don't watch cartoons, switch it off. What is your homework? Can you do your homework? Can you cook on time? Can you sleep in time? So those are the things he was basically grateful in. And also he liked visiting us and calling us as grandchildren together, advising us, telling us that we should live a peaceful life, a life full of purpose, a life whereby we walk in love, taking care of each other, because our family is a very big family. Like cousins, I don't even, I can't, some of them even don't know each other, but we have met today. And through it all, we can see the love of our grandfather is prevailing. I'm so grateful we are celebrating his life. And we know that his generation will continue living on and on. We are going to carry his name, we are going to carry his advice. We are going to move on as from where he left. Though we feel sad that he left us so soon, but God knows it all. And we are grateful that he has seen the great, great, great grandchildren. And we used to come and we could see him. Even through the sickness, we saw him fighting. He was a strong man. He never gave up, he fought, he fought, but above it all, we have our plans, but God plans it all. Thank you. What can you tell your cousins and your other grandchildren? What advice can you advise them in terms of unity? In terms of unity, what I can say that we should all like forget the differences that we've all have had, and we should just heed the advice of our, of our grandfather in our hearts. Even to the grandchildren, we should all heed in that. He was a great man who wanted us to study, who wanted us to pursue our degree, who wanted us to, to live a life which is God-fearing. He also loved God so much. I remember there's a time that if you don't go to church, he will tell us no eating. No going to church, you don't have to eat lunch that day. And some of us, through that, we were able to go to church, we were able to, to like pray, we were able to live. So I would like to tell my cousins and the great grandchildren, the grandchildren and my aunties and my uncles, let's keep the love moving. Let's continue living with peace. And what, what one word you can say in the Luo or just a phrase about your uncle from you? For me? Anything that you can say in the Luo because I know you're Luo? Yeah, <laughs> actually I'm a Luo, but uh, Hera Remo. That's what I can say. <laughs> Hera Remo. Kamajina na itwa ilunga mile dati no? Mi ane nyas nyaru Margaret Maduong ambayo ni mstana wa mama mkuu mama wangu ndio sasa amebaki kama mkubwa kwa boma hii togino madanga her wacho babu no ketoa kamera chien na upendo no wadwa ro mundo mio bedie isikue ntie gimoro mabiro biro pogwa kaka familia wabeda beda kata bedo ni kwara no the but upendo bana wenu akodocha ubeda beda one grandchildren and our aunties isikue ntiere pogoro kumoro mabro bedu an koro bin kwara onge koro apogoro ni wach koro kwara wa maneri wa kamura chele ka gimuro ntie toketo wa pin ni kwa ya yan gima kama kata kubiru na robi toketo wa pin to oinso wa nyakwara kama 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 ne en ngat mohero gimoro ma itimo gi kyoganda ya mori ware koro gi madakwa wa beda beda kamura chele kata ndu bedu ni kwara onge sani wa beda beda ki kwa bere bedu ni koro kwara wa mabro bedu ni pogoa era chan ma chinga motho okotha en tiere ona no gik matime ya pokuwa no kana kaka do uwe mange bat mokine no kasa moro kota kubiro ko kelo kai yo wango kelo ni kitalek ni gema kama kama ko di maber koro wabeda beda gik wenu to ana kwa mundo ni nyasae majangwono ongoni kwarwa mano mano timoka okuno more mundo miowe ni mundo ruak kwarwa ipinyuro di polo to kapo nuba dano romo tangen ching moro ni waro mgi kwarani kwarai we mayo Amina. Kwa majina naitwa Brenda Tieno. Mimi ni mjuku wa Dickson Oteny wa msichana yake Lisbon Beatrice Tieno Oteny. Mimi nimekaa huku 
nimesoma kuanzia class 3 huku nilitoka ya mwaka wa 2014 nikielekea upande za Mombasa chini za sima kuhusu Dickson alikuwa ni mchapakazi alikuwa ni mcha Mungu na alipenda sana watoto wake wasome hakupenda mchezo ikija upande wa masomo mm. na nini ambao unge utakosa sana kwake kwa grandfather yako chenye nitakosa wacha niseme kwamba ni ule upendo wa dhati ambaye aliniwekea maana ndio alisimama kama baba yangu wakati nilikuwa sina baba yeye ndio alichukua ile jukumu kama baba la kunisomesha na hadi hapa nilipofikia mpaka nilikuwa nimemwaahidi kwamba harusi yangu disemba atawasili lakini ya Mungu atuwezi ya atuwezi sema aliko Mungu ila zero yake malipema peponi tutaona ni ningependa kuambia wenzako kama makazi zako ama ma grandchildren au mzee nini ungewaambia upande wa kukaa pamoja ningeweza kuambia kwamba tupendane jamani masengenyo chuki mambo madogo madogo hayastahili hayatakuza familia bali yatajenga umoja ni nguvu utengano ni udhaifu kwa hivyo tuzidi kupendana na tumweke Mungu kwa kila jambo yeah, na ukimwambia mambo ya mwisho ya kwaheri na kijaluo babu yako unaweza sema nini na kijaluo sana babu na area yenya lakini nyasai no eri moloyo chunyi mondo onende kuma ber nuaro mkaruto yie oriti Okay hi my name is Sharon Achieng Obara I'm the granddaughter to Edickson Othenyi Makinda Yeah the dot the who the, the he's the father to my mom and is my grandpa he has been a good he has been a good grandpa I can say Nakumbuka when we were we had a burial of my of my uncle he came at our place and he was he sent me at um, a handkerchief to get get for him handkerchief so i brought a, a white one and he told me that old people don't use white handkerchiefs they use the brown one so me i grew up knowing that when i grow old i'll have to use what a brown handkerchief then i recall when he came again to to visit us at our, at my father's place that was the last time we shared a meal with him and i'm going to miss him so much he was a loving person a god fearing one and he was so kind i am going to miss you guka see you soon rest easy the angels and what uh, what are the last word you can tell your guka in the loo in the loo aheri and you know the loo <laughs> aheri marat aheri sana 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 and <laughs> and what can you say, say about uh, the unity of you cousins or the grandchildren what, what advice can you give them in terms of the unity in terms of the unity yeah like you know guka like babu and alikuwa anapenda kuleta watu together so he wants us like to be together hata benjamin anataka tu to tukue pamoja so we should have that love and continue because that is his joy malihako akiona like the, his grandchildren wako close wako together and afraid that's why even we came up with the tissues so that we can we can remember him with this even when you have a memorial tunasema eh makuzo we come we have these t-shirts we, we talk what we talk about our grandpa tuendelee tukupendana guka alikuwa mtu wa upendo sana and he loved peace by the way i could have placed atake kujua what happened Five minutes ago, or two years ago, Ivo just wants us to focus on what is happening at the moment. Like we are here to celebrate him. Actually, we are celebrating a life well lived, Yaguka, and we are so glad. Atuko tuko ndaka aishi yaone wajuku wa wajuku wake. Yani tukai tu pamoja. You know, like atam to akio a hundred years, utahangi akuache. But you know, alikuwa asha choka. But we love. I love my grandpa so much. Tunakupenda guka sisi kama makuzo. Us as your grandchildren, we love you so much and maliuko to a prepare us a table for us. How old are you grandchildren if you have you know the number? Uh, grandchildren. You know my grandpa had a lot of kids. <laughs> so the ones that I know kuna Mombasa I think each 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 of his children are gonna say seven maximum. 
So I think maybe to go. <laughs> We are a lot, we are a lot, but he has a lot of grandchildren. We are a lot. Majina and I to Isaac, a win or ten. You know, as a Kumuka and Nanu, Tisha, near Babango. Nanin Nesa Tambia, Mbau Nesa Kumuka, Mzuri, Mbau Takosa, Pusu Baba. Mambo Mingi Sana, Pasavu, Mzam and Leak to Katin Bakasaima and Mefika, Semo Sweli, Semoti Nesam Kumuka and Mkumuka Sana. Kumbuka sana babangu. Mambo mazuri ambayo unaweza kumbuka kuhusu baburi. Mimi mm. nakumbuka vitu mingi sana. Nimefanya, amenilea, amenisomesa. Hata nikiwa siku hapa alikuwa ananitafuta paka mahali niko. Hata nafikwa sima nipigia paka ananikujia. Kuna wakati nilikuwa uko nje paka anajaribu anafanya chini na juu anakuja kuangalia mtoto wake. Mm. Mm. Nini ambayo utakosa sana na kifo ya babu inafanya usikia je? Eh, Mesque Uchungu Sana Uchungu Sana, Kwasabu, Yon Babangu, and Sion come and is a part of Baba Mungine was Pokwaye. Nadinu depend upon Bia Manduzako in terms of Makazako, Usu, Ukafa Moja, advice Ganon is our Patia. Advice in our Patia, she says about better Messiah to watch her. Like in the end, I want to Tunga Nisa Hapa come a family. Like in Atta Sis come to me back. To back to na romoja vire yeye mwenye wa vire alukua, to back to pamoja, kujiunga pamoja. Tusikuwa na mga ugao yote kila kichochote. Na watu ambao wamekuja kusaidia kuzika babu, ungependa mm. kuambia aje, marafiki na watu watu wala wamekuja? Mimi wala watu watu wamekuja, marafiki, marelatives zote, na basukuru sana, kwa hiyo kujitolea, kuwacha kazi yao, kuwacha kila kichote wakaweza kuja kufika na sisi, kwa hii sere ya leo ya kuzunikisa baba yetu. Na, na basukuru, roo hiyo wako nayo, wasibadresi na wasitowe. Yeah, my name is Caroline Luta. And today I'm here to celebrate a grandfather. To me, Babu, I fondly call him Babu. He's more than a grandfather to me. Um, I'm the daughter of a firstborn daughter, the late Anastasia Tieno, whom he loves so much. And so I've grown knowing this Babu because he used to come and visit us while in Nairobi. And the reason why I'm saying is more than a grandmother. When I lost both my parents at a very young age, I was around 13 when I lost my dad. Then two years later, I lost my mom. He's been like a pillar to our family who will visit us where, where our late father was and he's fought so many battles for us. So today I'm not only losing a grandfather, but I'm losing a great pillar. I'm losing a dad. I'm losing, I've, I've lost a confidant, eh? And I feel like I've been orphaned twice. Yeah, so one thing I like about my grandfather is he was a very loving person. Uh, I remember we had to cool him down from coming to Nairobi because he could come even at his 70s, you can imagine. And within a week, my grandfather would have visited all of us in Nairobi. All of us. I know we are scattered. We are in Dandora, we are, you know, everywhere. But within one week, this lovely guy would have visited all of us and will make sure that, you know, and that is one challenge that is giving me that love is very paramount. Love is very paramount. In fact, he will, he will wonder, he will come and say, when was the last time you've seen your, br your brother? And I will tell, like two years. And he said, no, you people, you're not doing the right thing. How can you be in Nairobi? And you people say, <laughs> for two good years without visiting each other. And so um, that is one thing I'm praying that this tie, this family tie will, you know, will continue. The love will continue with this legacy. So today, as I lay down, you know, in Luo tradition, this is my husband, you know, <laughs> this is my husband. So today as, I'll, uh, as I'm laying him down to sleep until we meet again, yeah, I have mixed reactions. I'm celebrating because of the good and many years that uh, God has granted him, over 100 years, still very strong. And I pray that we'll keep up the family tie that uh, you know is the main tree the main tree the main link we are a very big family by the way we are very we are scattered all over that this bond will remain the love shall continue in this family until we meet again so i love you so much grandfather 
till we meet again. Bye. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Mustafa, and this man is my grandfather. And so, grandfather was not only uh, a family member to me, he was a friend. Not only a family friend, not, not, not only a friend because of family ties, but a friend individually. Because I was privileged to spend some few times with him. And I can attest that, that spending time with this man was, was never a lost, it was a gain. Because he could, he could, he, he could give you an, an advice, he could caution you on some, on some things. Especially when you, when, when you went astray a bit, he could ensure that he gives you a, he gives you a, a, a correction with love. You know? He was a, a loving person and also he was a, a family person and he was also a very humorous person. Uh, wherever you spend time with him, he was, uh, he was assured to laugh at whatever you are, you are happy or not, but at any point you're just assured to laugh because he was a person who had a lot of sense of humor and he was a joker, he, could, he, he was just a, a, a funny person to have time with. So I have lost a great feeler in my life. Uh, given, given that his age was a bit important, 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 for me, important to me because of his counsel and, and advice. So I have lost a very great person, but we just accept and move on. My name is Beatrice, Beatrice Othen. I the last born. I am the last born. I am the last born. I am Baba? Baba is the one who is the one who is Hata kuna some time alikuwa kikuja Mombasa anakuja kututembelea. Na tulipokuwa tukisikianga baba na umwa, mimi nilikuwa na uchungu mwingi. Kwa sababu upande wa fedha sikukuwa nacho. Na nilikuwa natamani hata kama inaweza kuwa ka, baada ya miezi miwili nilikuwa natamani kuwa nikifika nimtembelee. Lakini baba alikuwa anapenda watu. Anapenda watoto wake, akisikia jambo kwa watoto Hata kama ni wapi hata kama Nairobi alikuwa anapanda gari anakuja anatuweka chini hata kama ni mzee hata kama nani sasa baba yetu alikuwa ni mtu wa upendo yani baba alikuwa apendi maneno mengi hiyo nilikuwa napendea babangu sana hata sasa hivi lameaga najua hata kama siku moja tutakuja kutana kama watu wanakutana tutakuja kukutana na mimi sitaongea mengi kwa sababu babangu Hata kuna mjukuu wake mtoto wangu mtoto wa pili amebaki tu kwa, kwa sababu ya fedha ya kumfikisha huko bara. Sasa najua siku moja atakuja kwa mazishi kwa matanga matanga unajua waishi hata akikuja baada ya miaka miwili atapata tu hiyo kaburi pale. Sasa na imani sisi vile tumefika Mungu atujalie turudi makwetu na hapa ndio bomani bado tutakuja tutazidi kukuja. Hata wajukuu, mandugu, madada, marafiki Mle tulikuanga kitambo, tuzidi kukua hivyo. Muta sione babu, baba ameenda, atuwache atu, atu kukua na upendo. Mi naomba tu upendo, uwe vile vile, kwa wajuku, mandugu, marafiki. Sasa ya mwisho, naomba, mungu amweke malipema, peponi. Kama alikuwa na kosa, amsame, hainge mbinguni. Hayo tuma chache, mungu wabariki. Ni mkubesema kitu mzuri sana kwa mba uwezikuwa msichana wa mwisho wa baba. Eee, hey, mido mzuri. Mkubesema wangapi na kama mtoto wa mwisho na juu waribiwa sana na baba. Mm. Nini mazuri ya baba wakumbuka mba utakosa sana kaa last born? <laughs> yani si mjuku, mimi ni msichana hake. Msichana hake wa mwisho. Wa mwisho, mido last born. Last born. Eee, mido last born. Sorry, last born. Mido msichana hake. Mimi vile nitakumbuka nao babangu. Yeah. Juzi tuen last year, mwezi wanani likuwa hapa. Haka niongelesha, ilikuwa ni kuja yu mwaka tena December. Asi kukua na fedha, asi kufika. Kwa nimefika tu kwa ayo matanga. Lakini baba alikuwa na upendo, alikuwa na nipenda. Kama last born. Yani baba kukua mebagua mutu. Uwe ni last born, uwe ni first born, uwe ni nini, second. Alikuwa napenda watu wote. Sasa mimi, naomba tu. Kama watu nakutana, tutakutana siku moja. Hayo tu mungu wa bariki. Good. Mm. Kwa majina ni tuafadida mwame di hamisi. Eh, Uwe ni babu yangu wa lefariki. Mm. Gai. Nini nakumbuka kusu babu yako? Kusu babu yangu nakumbuka as in alikuwa mtu mzuri cause so far so good. Yeye ndo alishinda first born wetu ambaye ni Hamisi Mohamed Hamisi. 
yeye ndo aliishi naye sana yeye ndo alimlelea mangu kosi wakati siko tuko Mombasa yeye sana sana alikuwa ana stay na babu yangu yeye na kazi yangu mwingine inaitwa Brenda eh babu yangu afterload amekuwa mtu mzuri kwa sababu Mombasa mamangu alivozale mapasha alikuwa anakuja kututembelea anakuja kutuona eh ni hivyo tutamiss sana tena si tulimpenda lakini Mungu alimpenda zaidi babu yenu alizaa wajukuu wengi sana nini unaweza sema ama ile kwa kizungu anasema word of advice unaweza ambia magazine zako ni nini kuhusu babu yenu kuenda na nyinyi kuwa pamoja eh as in advice which i can give to my cousin mm -hmm. ni kwamba tuzidi kupendana ya kwanza tuzidi kuwa na umoja in all in all ni kusutu prayers tuzidi kuombeana na kusaidiana in case mwanamume wako uko chini unaweza kumsaidia na ule upendo usiishi si kwamba ti huu mzee ndo ametuacha ndo upendo uishe no tuzidi kutembeleana kama vile kwa tunatembeleana tupendane hivyo na kwa sababu ni msema mgeni amesema yuko na harusi anafaa kufanya mm. wewe umeolewa ama utapata kupata pia kupatia babu yako pia ndoa siku moja ah mimi kwa sasa sitaki kuolewa yani huo muda kuolewa bado sina kwa sasa hii huo olewe tu tutamsaidia kusimama harusi siku mbili tutasaidia kusimama harusi kwa harusi zake lakini kwa sasa ni for real kwa sasa bado sijaamua kuolewa mm -hmm. eh siku moja utafurahisha babu kwa kupata mtumba na uoleke lazima, lazima. god plans inaomba tu Mungu alipe mtu mzuri mm -hmm. Baby, you go to the gift and learn business.